Oh, nice! <laughs> Explosive headshot. What up, it's Sixter94, and welcome to my fifth playthrough of Resident Evil Remake, or Remastered for the new generation. <laughs> Alright, so if you're impatient, I want you to follow this time code right here. This will take you to the start of the game. Otherwise, you've been warned and have no right to say anything now. So, game number five. The point of this playthrough is to get Jill's bad ending number three, or what I consider her worse ending. It's basically where only she survives and both of her teammates are just gone. Barry's gonna die early, and Chris is just never gonna be seen. And uh, another thing with this playthrough, it's gonna be the one that we attempt real survival mode. Yeah. We're entering real survival, which is probably the most difficult difficulty in this game, because it's essentially hard mode, just with the addition of the item boxes not being linked anymore, and no auto-aim. So, <laughs> yeah, this will be the most difficult playthrough, in my journey so far anyway. Luckily, I practiced well for it in the previous playthrough. Hard mode, honestly, isn't that much harder than normal mode to me. Other than the less ammo and whatnot. But yeah, that's what's going to happen. We're going to attempt Royal Survival Difficulty. We're also going to use Jill's Resident Evil 3 outfit. And I think that's going to cover the gist of it. Alright, so without further ado, let's begin. Royal Survival. Resident Evil. <laughs> okay. It's Jill and got all of her outfits here. Okay, so in the previous playthrough, I decided to use this outfit, but not acquire it until I went through the closet, literally. Now for this playthrough, we're gonna start right off with the outfit that we're of our choice. In this game, it's gonna be this one, her Resident Evil 3 outfit. Here we go. So once again, because Jill's going to be in a different outfit, I'm going to let all the cutscenes be shown, except for the ones that are pre-made, to where the costume doesn't matter. For example, this first one right here. It's no different, regardless of costume. And it's a really long cutscene, I don't want to see it. <laughs> there are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> A dining room. So you could say if they were to ever remake Resident Evil 3, this is what Jill would look like. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see here. Yeah, people were right. I do not get special weapons in real survival difficulty. So, yep. It's a good thing I practiced in the last playthrough. Alright, we're going to go back to Wesker real quick. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. Got cold feet already? That's not like you. <laughs> Alright, enough of this business. Hey! 
I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Better report this to Wesker. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Now let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. And I'm gonna follow you right there, Barry. Once again, I need to make it to where I don't have like any space for a specific cutscene. Alright, I have to keep in mind there is no auto-aim and that the item boxes are not linked. This part's really gonna suck though, I just know it. Okay, these herbs will get me by. Oh my god!
Okay. Alright, can I get this critical that I've always gotten before? That'd be nice. What the hell? Oh great, more potential for crimson heads. God, after, I'm so tired of the feel canteen, like, I feel like I'm not gonna bother anymore. Just waste of space, takes too much effort, and quite honestly, I could avoid crimson heads. Probably be better off just not defeating many zombies here. Forget those shells for now. Okay, I don't think that defensive item in this nook over here is worth it because I always end up using it on the zombie that comes after the fact anyway, so forget it. here anyway. here for that.
All right, let's get the shotgun. do now. Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> <sighs> Barry! That was a close one. A second late. You would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Yeah, this door isn't broken in real survival, by the way. not picking that thing that stupid thing up I'm done with it for Jill at least might start using it again when I switch over to Chris but for now I'm fucking done with it right, remember item boxes are linked so I gotta remember what I put in what I'm keeping that herb on me for sure I never use the knife so forget it um, at the same time though I gotta make sure my inventory is full for a certain cutscene to be different so that's probably the only thing I'm going to store at the moment. Because that the only other things I need... Yeah, I'll be acquiring... Actually, no. Let's go ahead and store this ink ribbon here. And that will do. I'll need at least three slots. deal with this one since it's in my way. go. It's because I put the survival knife way up there. Alright. 
Alright, use up that slot for a very specific reason. Barry. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. Once again, no acid rounds for you. <laughs> You'll live. Alright, let's see, what's my next objective? Get rid of the sword key, really, so... Use it on this door real quick. Then go the other way. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Probably could have avoided him altogether. Son of a bitch. Don't even have the space for it. Closet key is apparently. <laughs> Alright, the herbicide is safe to place here because it's right near the area where I would use it. I don't really know if I have any use for the shotgun with only one shell right now, so. Well, but I should not get rid of it just yet. Whoa, that was 
was lucky. Got the key for that room. I'll need this chemical. Everything else can stay where it is. Hopefully they don't change that up on ya, no matter the difficulty. Alright, get the first death to me, ask. And I'm good without these herbs, I think. shotgun shell on this zombie. Oh, nice! That was actually really awesome. Alright, let's get rid of this sword key. in there. Alright, I'm gonna get some shells. As long as I keep those zombies alive, no hunter will show up here, unless I go up the stairs- oh crap. Or as long as I don't let that zombie burst through, apparently. <laughs> 